clients all have a certain environment that they want to thrive in. And if you give them that environment, they will thrive. And if you can manipulate that environment to actually make it perfect and ideal for them, the least amount of disturbance or environmental footprint possible, large-scale industrial agriculture has major potential, not just in the terms of monoculture at Monsanto, but I'm talking large-scale good industrial. That's feeding the nation, supplying the medicine of the nation. So cannabis, if you grow cannabis correctly, in the right temperature, the right humidity, with the right airflow, circulation, CO2 concentration, the light photo periods, if you give it everything and grow it in a clean environment, it's going to do great for you. But if you get a warehouse that's five, ten thousand square feet in one of these new markets that didn't have the specific purpose of being built for a horticultural manufacturing facility, and you don't hire the right consultants, environmental consultants, environmental engineers, mechanical engineers to actually handle those airflow systems, this is well beyond calculating cubic feet per square minute of air exchange. I mean, you have all of these things that are required to be tied into a master controller that turns on this and that and sensors to maintain that ideal environment. If you don't have that, you have a sick environment or you're a sick individual. And this, these cultivation centers, indoor greenhouse, outdoor, these operations, they are living, breathing organisms. And if you think about it as such, requiring systems and electricity for temperature, maintaining air handling, decreasing or increasing humidity, having separate dry rooms to actually vacate all of that excess water from the dry and the plant material. If you don't have the right systems in place to do this, your building will be sick, and a sick plant, just like a sick person, is more likely to pick up bad diseases and pests. So you have pesticides, no need to use them if you do your job right the first time.